Hi everyone, this is Nikki Brilliant and today I'm uh, making a layout for um, Bella Boulevard. Um, I'm um, using the Let's Go on an Adventure collection um, and my assignment today was to use um, acrylic words and shapes. Um, so I've picked out a few um, bits and pieces um, that I thought would work uh, with this collection um, and I've decided to make a boy themed um, layout um, about a day we went um, looking for dinosaurs. So um, I thought um, I would, I really loved this paper that with, the, with all the forest on um, and we were, we weren't in a forest but we were in a park area and it was lots of woodland so um, and there were lots of dinosaurs <laughs> hiding be uh, between the trees. Um, so I thought I would um, use that forest paper and use it as a feature. Um, and I decided to fold back a large area um, and have my photos kind of peeking out um, from uh, underneath the folded area. And then um, I was hoping to use the word explore, which is um, from a set that has um, both explore and play um, in it um, as an acrylic um, word um, and um, I just loved how that looked um, on the um, black um, piece of paper that was folded back um, it just stood out really well being white against the black um, looked fab I wondered if I could use both the play and explore because they were doing both of those things um, but um, it just looked a bit too cluttered and the words didn't quite go perfectly together because um, the first one is more of a script font whereas the second one the explore is all the same um, height. It's a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters still, but um, it just it, they just didn't look quite right next to each other. So I decided to go for just the word explore over on at the top part, um, and then have some embellishments um, down on the left hand side. Um, so um, yeah, I'm just uh, you can see where I'm putting my photos um, underneath um, that area, and I'm adding a few flowers and bits and pieces over on the right hand side too. Um, and then to the left of the word explore, um, I've got some trees. Um, so these are from the ephemera pack. Um, I've got the set of uh, like fir trees and then the set of um, normal trees. I'm not quite sure what the word is. Um, and uh, I've just added those um, both in um, and uh, popped those up on the foam pads. Um, above the word explore, I've added um, a little label that says outdoors um, and two hearts um, these are all from the ephemera pack um, the gray heart says outdoors and then the blue one says love this um, so um, I always like to use hearts on my layouts um, I think they go well with most things I usually love the subject of my photos um, so they tend to work quite well the um, little brown one over on the right hand side is a wood grain heart and says epic. Um, so I love it even more when the hearts say um, things that go well with my photos. Um, okay, so um, I'm also um, not just using the acrylic words, I also wanted to use some acrylic shapes as well. Um, so I pulled out um, a couple of sets. Um, one is the um, little trees um, and the other one is the patriotic stars. Now. Um, the red won't go, but the blues certainly will. Um, so I'm going to definitely put a few of those in. You can see that I've put a couple in already um, above the word explore. Like I said, they show up so well um, on the black uh, background. Uh, the only way they would show up better is if they were on white. Um, just down in the bottom left corner, I have a bit of a gap between the triangle and the photo. So I'm just kind of filling that in. Um, I've got a little enamel shape that says nature, um, some chipboard, a blue flower, and uh, the chipboard circle that says let's go. Um, I'm also going to add an arrow down there um, in a moment. Um, oh, here it is. Um, it says wild one. Um, so I'm just putting that down there as well. So that kind of nicely uh, fills in that gap. And then over on the right hand side, um, I've added a couple of the trees um, and some flowers and a tag. Um, and a little banner that says, love this. Most of those things are from the ephemera, apart from the acrylic trees, of course they're not. Um, now I'm just adding some labels um, at the top there. Um, and uh, they say, exploring, live, love, seek, and live free. So all really brilliant um, little titles there. Love those little phrases. Um, so just adding those um, as well. Just distressing the edges of, every th of the, my whole layout here. Um, and... Um, like finishing it off really. Um, 
So I just want to hand right in my journaling. So just a few um, words, uh, just written raw, we're going on a dinosaur hunt. So there's a book that you probably know called We're Going on a Bear Hunt. So that was a play on that. Um, at the top of the triangle, there's um, a little corrugated heart. It's, they're called heart hugs. I really love those. That's really sweet. Um, and that's from the blue collection, which is called uh, Rainy Day. Um, and uh, I'm just adding some splatters of um, two different colours of shimmers paints, so a, a minty coloured and a turquoise coloured, um, and they're just to um, give some splatters at either side of my um, two photos. And that's me done. Um, so um, I really loved making this layout. It's great fun. Um, I love making boy layouts about, you know, being exploring and being in the trees and things like that. So this was really great fun um, to create. Um, and I really love the acrylic words and the shapes are lovely as well. Um, okay, so thank you very much for joining me today. Um, that was Nikki Rowland for Bella Boulevard. <laughs>